Hey guys, Dudley from Native Nurseries here. I'm holding a young, majestic, bald cypress seedling. Grown in an air pruning container. This is typic typically what you're going to get in your box. Some may even be a little taller than this. Um, they're always going to be nice and stout. They transplant really well. You can put a cypress in a tree tube on a good site, give it some fertilization, full sun. It's not uncommon for them to hit seven or eight foot tall in the first year. So you can put these on a good site with a tree tube, little fertilization, little weed control, full sun. It's not uncommon for them to hit seven or eight feet tall in the first year. So there's really no reason to pay extra for a large containerized tree. Um, these will grow in standing water. They prefer to be established when it's not flooding. So if you can you know, plant them on the edge when the water's down, that's probably better. Folks plant these on the landscape too. You can plant them on top of a hill in, the, in your yard if you want to. Uh, you don't want to plant them in a wet spot if you don't want the knees. I think the knees are cool, but if you're planting them in your yard and don't want to have to mow around the knees, plant them on a hilly spot or on a slope, but not, not in a poorly drained area. So you can plant these in an impoundment, you know, somewhere that gets really wet in a wetland or in the landscape. I'm a turkey enthusiast. I like to manage my property to increase wild turkeys. They love roosting in a bald cypress tree. They have vertical branching. So if you're wanting to improve turkey habitat, you might want to consider planting a few of these in strategic locations where you want wild turkeys to roost someday. Something to think about. So duck impoundments, yards, turkeys, good looks, everything in between. Try bald cypress from nativenurseries.com.